So I've just come off stage from the Meet the Buyers seminar where I was interviewing Paul and Jill Clark, who are my house hunters back in 2015 when they were looking over in Spain. That was a really good chat. They gave loads of their own hints and tips. And I must say, when I came off stage, they were asked loads of questions by other members of the audience wanting to get their take on what the process was like being on the show. So I'm just about to catch up with them backstage for a little one-to-one. -one. So here we are backstage with Paul and Jill. We've just been on stage at the Meet the Buyer seminar. How was it? Was it nerve-wracking? Yes. Yes, it was. Because <laughs> I don't believe you for one moment. You look, you look like you were born to it. No, I don't think so. Really? I was nervous, yeah. At the beginning, but then when I saw that the crowd started to nod and they smiled and I thought, oh, they're listening to us, it's yeah. okay, yeah. Well, I, I find that even when I'm presenting on my own, everybody comes to the seminar to find out more, to yeah. find out about what your experience is like, but everyone here in the whole exhibition wants to find out more about the whole process. So mm. anything you can come out with is just like gold to them. Yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely, yeah. I enjoyed it, actually, and... Um, I'm one for sharing what we've learnt. Yeah. Like, um, I enjoy that, so other people can come and ask questions after which they did. This is where we met. How long ago was it now? 2015, yeah. That long, is it? Yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. three yeah. years ago. Three years. And you applied to come on the show then, didn't you? We got in front of the camera and we were just us. The yeah. crew and everybody was uh, very relaxed and they helped us to really be calm and we, we were just ourselves then. Yeah, that was we? it. Then we wondered whether we'd actually go from that screen test to actually go on a place in the sun and I think we got contacted the following week. So then suddenly you're being flown out to Spain. Talk to us about your chosen area then and why you decided to try and buy a property there. Yeah, but Porta de Mata on our Costa Calida has been on my radar probably more than Jill's for years and years. I've mm. kept looking at it, doing my research. Though I'd never been, I knew what it could offer. Mm -hmm. Then we talked about yeah. it, and then in turn, both decided it together that that's where we wanted to be in the Costa Calida and ch and chose the port as something that would offer us what we wanted. For me, the whole the success of the shoot week is having fun whilst dealing with something that's very serious and very dear to mm. you. Mm. And if you don't have fun in the process, then it becomes very daunting yeah. it's all your dreams all your savings built up into a high pressure situation but we yeah. have a bit of a giggle on yeah. the way yeah. Yeah. then suddenly it's not that we're not taking it seriously it's just that you can see the wood from the trees and you can start thinking yeah i do like that and i don't like that and that's yeah. that's what yeah. i try to yeah. achieve yeah yeah so what does it mean to you to now own that holiday home well for me it's like when I finish work because I'm in a very stressful job and I get on the plane and I walk into the apartment to feel like it's a bit of a paradise yeah. and then when we open the shutters and we can see everybody bustling around and I can see the sea and the water and the blue sky, I'm just in a different world, so happy. Wouldn't swap it. Wouldn't you? Yeah, no, you couldn't buy it off me for five times what we paid for it, really. No way, really? Absolutely. Yeah, he loves it, yeah. Absolutely he sleeps perfect. better there, he's so relaxed. Paradise. He's not grumpy, he'd love Your it. Your mind seems to be there, even though I'm talking to <laughs> yeah. you, lady <Lainey> Manchester. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, would having a Meet the Buyers seminar have helped you beforehand, if you could have sat in front of people that have done what you've done now? I think it would. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because the questions that are being asked you're, you're asking people who've gone through the experience, they're not trying to sell you something, mm -hmm. they're just being honest and straightforward. So I would have gleaned a lot from yeah. listening yeah. and then I would have gone and spoke to them afterwards, I think, and said, here's some of my questions. So I would have carried that conversation on. What would you say to someone who is thinking about buying a property abroad and maybe thinking about attending a place in Sun Live or coming on the show? I would say certainly coming to to a venue like this, going round, looking at the different stalls, asking the questions, listening to people who are presenting and doing the question and answering. You're just taking in lots and lots of really useful information. Mm -hmm. It's great. And it? it makes it real, yes. you know. When you can come here and listen to other people talking, it makes it real. Mm -hmm. I think it, it, for some people it's like a dream and we might and we might not do it, but to hear somebody who's achieved it makes it real. Yeah, but I wish you 
Well, both. All the very best there, and hopefully we'll catch up again soon. Thank you very much for your time. So if you'd like to meet buyers, such as Paul and Jill, and find out more information on buying abroad, come to A Place in the Sun live at a venue near you. Mm -hmm.